Wow. Wow. I am super, super excited about this product review. I don't know if I really need it. Anyway, I have it now. I'm excited about it. So let's, let's do this unboxing. Let's see what we have here. Oh boy. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Five inch, 12 centimeters. Works. Rechargeable. Battery powered. Chainsaw. Ha. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This is so awesome. Now, this wasn't cheap. Part of the reason why this wasn't cheap was because I don't have a works charger or a battery. I know that the charger with the battery is more expensive. If you already have the charger and the battery, this is gonna cost you a lot less. So let's see what we got here. We got this. What else did they send me? Oh, they sent me a carrying case. Look at that. Okay, so I think this was a kit. So I got a nice little works kit. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a carrying kit. All right. The charger. Pretty cool. Lay it down here. Um, I guess this is a wall charger. Charging port. Actually, I don't know what this is. And the battery. Look at that. So as you can see, these are sold separately. These are sold separately. And uh, because they're sold separately, they don't come together in the box. Uh, okay, now let's open this. Actually, it says in the box here that it's a tool only. Pardon me, I'm going to get a knife. Okay, let's see what we got. This is exciting. You know, it's one of those things that I don't really need, but I really wanted. It was a bit pricey. I'm not sure why it's so expensive. Maybe because it's high demand. It's a mini chainsaw, and not many people can get a uh, mini chainsaw. This is what it looks like inside the box. Yeah, suspense is killing me. I guess this is the warranty information. Yep, it's a warranty information and the instruction manual. We'll put that in here because not that exciting. And here we go. <coughs> Chain oil, always a good thing to have. And, oh baby, and that's it. Woo, look at this thing. Oh my God, this is awesome. I know, I'm like a five-year-old, yeah, except a five-year-old can't play with these toys. Wow. It's kind of hard to justify why I need this when I don't really have a yard, like four trees. But, um, yeah, anyway. Okay, let's see. So I'm, I'm, this is my first time looking at this thing and holding it. It's, it's not that heavy. It's like a few pounds. It's really not that heavy, it's a few pounds. But one of the things that's important here is that one of the reasons why I thought this is cool is because this could attach, I guess that's what this is for, it could attach to a telescoping pole. So if I want to use it to cut branches high up in a tree, I could connect it. And then once I have the battery, I could use it for my hedger, which I don't own yet. Charger and the battery alone can cost like a hundred bucks. Okay, so let's see here, made in China, okay. Uh, designed in Germany, very cool. So this is the guard. <clears throat> now, let's take a look at this baby. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just chewed off that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it, it seems like it comes already taut. There's no slack with the chain here. The moment of truth. I'm sure there's juice in this thing. Let's see. That's what this is for. Oh, I see. There we go. Now we know what everything goes for. There we go. I feel like I just lock and load, baby. All right. No juice. Okay, I was kind of uh, hoping that this thing would have... Oh, this does have power. So what am I missing here? Whoa! Okay, I guess I have to press it. Oh, I didn't press it all the way. That's a double safety valve. So one is you need to press this down to get it started. Either left hand or right hand, I'm a lefty. And even when you do that, there's a clicking noise. So it's not gonna work until you press it all the way. Ooh, this is cool. Not loud at all. 
yeah, you barely hear it. So um, why don't we give it a little try? Because I have some scrap wood lying around. Let's give it a try. We're going to do a nice test. Okay, this is a one by three board. Try it. I'm going to hold it down and see what happens here. Whoa. Yeah. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. Oh, we know this works. Let's test this beast out. Let's test it out. I'm excited. All right. Now, uh, based on the manual, I quickly looked at the manual and it seems like this should be oiled uh, a couple of drops. We're going to do that right now because, well, before I oil, oil this, I'm going to take the battery out. I think that would be smart. Okay, let's get this piece of wood out of here. Okay, based on the picture here, <clears throat> I'm supposed to put two drops on the, uh, on, the, on the actual blade itself. So we're going to put one about here. Right, and nothing's coming out. I guess there's a little cap. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's good to keep it oiled. I'm gonna put a little drop here. And we're gonna put a little drop here. Okay, see the oil spreads out. I think that's enough. We're gonna turn it on to cycle the oil. Okay, I think that's good. Now we test this out. If you see over here, I have a variety of woods, different sizes, different lengths. And uh, we're going to start from the smaller to the, I'm going to point to it, from the smaller to the bigger one there. Okay, so it's going to go up from a few inches to about five, six inches in thickness. And this is going to be our first trial, and we're going to see how it cuts. Okay, here we go. Here's our first wood. And it measures at about two and a half inches thickness and about six centimeters. This is my first time using it. Let's see how this performs. Okay. Okay, that was a, a lot rougher than I thought. I guess it has to do with experience. But nice clean cut. You can see the wood is a little bit damp. Let's take a look what we got here. This is approximately three and a half inches. So we've gone up. Can we see that there? We've gone up approximately uh, um, an inch. Three and a half inches of about nine centimeters of wood. Okay, that was pretty awesome. It's like a hot knife through butter. I almost sawed through my, I almost saw, saw through my, um, my cord there, my uh, microphone. I don't even know if I need it. All right, let's move up a notch. We're gonna go up to this one. This thing is a pretty big chunk of wood. All right, uh, I don't have room here. Okay, yeah, we could see it. All right, we got now four and a half inches. All right, so we've gone up. We've gone up a full inch. Four and a half inches, about 11, 11 and a half, 12 centimeters of wood. Oh, you know what? Let's do it like that. There we go. Let's move this back a notch. Now, I'm going to do this in my left hand because it's a massive tree trunk. Not massive, but it's big enough, and I don't need to hold it down with my right hand. Here we go. Whoa, that wasn't good. Oh, baby, look at that. If this doesn't make you want to go out and get this saw today, then I don't know what. That was 
awesome. It is so satisfying. I'm going to do it again. Wow, that was awesome. Let's take a look at this baby. Let's see what we got here. This is approximately six inches, five and a half. Oh, it's a little bit, it's around the same size. No, this goes about 14 centimeters. Two hands. Now this is a little bit thicker than the other one. Wow. Okay, look at that, huh? Nice. Wow. That's surprisingly not warm. Like a hot knife through butter. Huh. Let's give it another go. Wanna to go too hard, too fast? That was awesome. Now you need to remember, it's getting stuck. Part of the reason why it's getting stuck is because this is not a gas powered chainsaw. This is a handheld, one hand, you can hold the one hand, handheld chainsaw, battery operated, okay? It's doing what a gas powered chainsaw can do. That's pretty, pretty darn impressive. Here's our wood. Nice pile there. Always important to hold the saw with two hands one and two if you can't support the wood then obviously you're gonna have to support the, support the wood with one of your hands now this is probably the maximum width of the saw recommended because we're already going beyond the width of the blade well this is probably the maximum size you want to do of course you can go thicker i want to say a few things this is here's uh, my thoughts on the saw okay so first and foremost this is my very first time using any chainsaw i've never used a chainsaw before uh, so if you saw me struggling, I've never cut before. So what I'm trying to tell you is that this is good for somebody who's never used a chainsaw before. You could totally get this. Um, doesn't matter how tough you are, how strong you are, man, woman, child, well, old enough child, 16, teenager, uh, and up should have no problem using this. Um, uh, when you cut with this saw, most probably you'll be cutting either a large uh, piece of, uh, wood and it may be on the ground or it may be uh, attached to a tree. Now, when it's attached to a tree, you don't need to hold the log or the branch and you could properly hold the chainsaw. To properly hold the chainsaw, you're gonna put one hand here and one hand on the back. This is how you want to hold it. This is what's shown in the instruction manual. That's how you wanna hold it with two hands. If you can't hold the log and keep it straight, then you can put one hand on the log, one hand on the chainsaw. You got the guide rail. So now, let's talk about some important safety tips when it comes to the chainsaw. First and foremost, when you use a chainsaw, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the tension is correct on the chain. If the tension is not correct on the chain, it could cause kickback and maybe other problems. I don't know, maybe the chain can fly off and so on. So the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna make sure that tension is proper on the chain. How do you check that? Now, 
this chain is properly tensioned. If you lift it up from the, from the uh, rail here, you can see that half of the chain is still hidden. Okay, so it's about three to five millimeters. You want it to be able to be about in. Uh, you want to still be about half of the chain to still be uh, um, uh, inside the chain rail. Every five times that you use it, you should probably tighten the chain. How are you going to do that? You're going to take the screwdriver that it comes with and you're going to adjust it over here clockwise direction, clockwise. That is number one. Number two, you do want to have glasses when you're cutting because it is a chainsaw and things fly out while you're cutting. Uh, you got to be careful. Number three, and I think this is really important, I think that to me this looks like a gun, okay? It's pretty awesome. Kind of like a toy, but not a toy. It is fun to play with. It's still a tool, and it's probably gonna be one of the most dangerous tools that you have. So with that being said, why don't we treat it like we would a pistol? So imagine this was a handgun, a pistol, okay? If this were a handgun, this would be the cartridge, okay? Lock and load, and this is where the trigger is. Just like a handgun. All right, you're not gonna handle this thing unless the battery is removed from the compartment. And regardless, and I'm gonna stress this, just like a handgun, whether or not there's a cartridge, you do not put your finger on the trigger, like I'm doing now, but I'm showing you, illustrating, okay? The finger never goes on the trigger. This is a gun. If you treat it like a gun, you'll be safe. You put the battery in, and when you're ready to saw, and you're in position, you saw, okay? Gun safety. This is especially important when you're gonna oil this. When it comes to oiling it, you're gonna remove the battery, very important, and you're gonna put a few drops of oil up and, uh, and up on top and up lower in this area. That's where you wanna put the oil. It's in the instructions, it shows you where to put the oil. Now let's get to cutting. I mentioned the first part about cutting, and I want to mention the second part about cutting. When you're cutting a log, you should make sure you're on an even surface, flat surface, not climbing up a tree. The truth is people do their own stupidity. Uh, I do. So, you know, just take that in mind. When you cut, it's important that you cut with the saw straight, okay? Don't cut with the blade down unless the log is raised. If the log is raised like I had here, you can cut with the blade down, cut side, and so on. If the log is not raised, you gotta cut straight down. Otherwise, the chain will hit the ground and who knows what could happen as a result. Another important point mentioned in the instruction manual is you don't wanna go beyond the thickness, the length of the blade when it comes to cutting wood or beyond, actually it says don't go beyond the, um, the, uh, the, the chain guard. You wanna cut a little bit less than five inches because that is the length of the guard. This is pretty good. Okay, this is probably the maximum uh, width of wood that you wanna cut. Now, I'm not gonna stop you from cutting uh, thicker wood. I'm not gonna stop myself. I mean, hey, why not? I mean, uh, we all like to have fun. So I will be trying this possibly with a thicker piece of wood. To me, this is awesome. Again, I was about to say toy. This is an awesome tool. Tool, not toy. It's a tool, not a toy. This is an awesome to tool. This is an awesome tool. It's quite satisfying when you cut through that piece of log, you feel like a real man or woman or whatever. Um, so uh, I really like it. I'm happy with it. I think it's pretty awesome. I left in the description below a link to where you can get this on Amazon. And uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.